The next in our line of feeding products is the Hikewall Bunk Feeder. When we introduced this uh, product, we looked at what our competitors had available and addressed some of the many concerns that our customers had raised with us. First off, we use an all steel construction as opposed to the poly bottom bunks uh, which are available for most manufacturers. The obvious difference is in the strength. Um, with the poly bottom bunks, you often find in winter when it gets cold, the poly tends to fracture and crack. That's why you'll see at many distributors a lot of replacement parts in poly. The other key thing is in the design. You'll notice here uh, that we've taken our sheet metal and corrugated it. So it's almost like comparing paper to cardboard. Uh, it gives it a lot more strength both vertically and horizontally. So it's going to take a lot more uh, abuse from both cattle and bulls. Now you'll also notice that the bunk feeder comes with legs. Again, that makes it much easier to drag and move around in the winter and is less likely to get frozen down. You'll also see we have square ends. Most of our competitors have rounded ends. The nice thing about a square end bunk feeder is that you're able to take a whole series of them and butt them right together. You've eliminated that gap between the bunks where your grain traditionally falls out and gets wasted. A really convenient accessory that's available for our bunk feeders is our bunk connector. You set your bunks up in your grain line and essentially it just locks over top, snaps together, and now your bunks are connected. So this means when you come out in the morning you're getting ready to pour grain or pour silage, the bunks are still in place, you don't have to realign them in order to do your pour. Another advantage of the bunk connector is when you're running a whole series of bunks, you may have three, four, or five together, and you want to move them to a drier spot of ground, you can hook it up to your tractor and just pull them along like a train. One follows the other, and because of the leg design, they don't get hung up. Another key feature is the bottom of our bunk. Again, as opposed to being rounded, we use a very slight sloping V-bottom. Now, there's two reasons for this. Number one is it helps keep the feed to the middle. When it's time to clean your bunk, you can take your scoop shovel, run it down the side, clean it out without having to flip the bunk upside down to get all the wasted material out. The other thing it does is improve drainage. At each end, you'll find a small drain hole. So when you do get moisture buildup, it uh, goes down to the bottom and then out your holes. And finally, with that design, it's also a safety feature because when you have a calf that gets up in the bunk uh, with a rounded bottom, they slip, they fall, they're down on their knees and they can't back, get back up. Again, with this square sided design, they can put their feet out to the side, stand up, get out of the bunk, and you don't have to be there to rescue them in the morning. Next in our line of bunk feeders is our grain bunks. Both of our series of bunks are 11 and a half feet long, but the grain bunk has a smaller capacity as it's designed for feeding grain as opposed to silage. Now, as I mentioned, one of the key benefits of our bunk feeder is the strength. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of how strong this product really is, I'm gonna ask for a few volunteers to join me. Gentlemen, if you would. Now normally we like to do this, do this with uh, 8 or 12 people, but I think we've got enough girth among us. So on the count of three, gentlemen, if you join me. One, two, three. Any damage? Just to my pride. One final thing to show again, that shows you how it can take a lot of weight from the inside. But one other thing we like to demonstrate. I challenge you to do that with your poly bunk.